The Paleo diet, Ducan diet and Atkins diet are based on the ketogenic diet plan and from my own personal experience, I would like to share with you the effectiveness of the ketogenic diet and yoga on epilepsy. Hi, I'm Manoj. I first came across the ketogenic diet when my then seven-year-old son developed benign Rolandic epilepsy and was admitted into hospital. My wife and I were given the skinny version on the diet and advised it was not particularly healthy because of the high fat proportion. But when our little boy had another episode about a month later, we started to seriously consider the ketogenic diet. He was given anti-epileptic drugs which we were not in favour of. Instead, we started to look for a more holistic approach. His seizures were seemingly connected to sleep deprivation, so the first thing we did was to make sure he was in bed by 8pm and hopefully to be asleep by 8.30pm. His seizures happened around 11pm, so that timing became the witching hour to be avoided at all costs. We were told by the doctors that he would not suffer seizures by going to bed late, but we were not about to take any chances. Here was something we could control, so control it, we did. Next came diet. As outlined in our previous video on ketogenic diets, the removal of carbs from our diet tricks the brain into thinking that the body is in starvation mode. Fats instead of carbs are converted into glucose for normal brain function. Glucose produced in this way appears to stop seizures or reduce the number of episodes that happen in child epilepsy. We also noticed a lighter meal in the evenings meant our son would sleep better. Meal times are around 6 in the evenings, so he goes to bed with a lighter tummy. He drinks plenty of water throughout the day, so he's well hydrated, especially as we live in such a warm and humid climate. We have noticed that when he has sports drinks, his sleep is affected and leads to pre-epileptic symptoms. So watch for that. I have done away with carbonated drinks from his diet. He has occasional fresh juices, but prefers fresh fruit instead. That works well for him. Our son Kiran is on a modified ketogenic diet, which is heavy on lean meats, middling on vegetables, mostly raw, so salads, and a small portion of carbs like potatoes, gluten-free pasta, and brown rice. Meals are spread out four to five times a day instead of the usual three. Dairy products are eaten in small amounts even though they are allowed as part of the traditional ketogenic diet. Kiran has an egg allergy, so eggs are not an option. But on a modified ketogenic diet plan, he started to look and feel better. Then, we started to explore the benefits of exercise on epilepsy. We put him on yoga. Yoga and meditation calms the mind and steadies the dopamine levels of the brain. When the dopamine levels were up, my son's blink rate would increase dramatically. A gentle reminder wherever we were, calm down and breathe, usually did the trick. Through yoga, he has found a great way to exercise and yoga has definitely helped in controlling the seizures. Yoga also releases endorphins in the brain, making you feel good and happy. It reduces stress and is a major contributing factor in controlling my son's epilepsy. I placed a cap on TV viewing, computers, handheld games and other electronic devices limiting it to about 30 minutes a day and not after 6 p.m. There was a real difference in his sleep patterns. He slept far more soundly. There was less restlessness and talking in his sleep than before. He was encouraged to read and play quietly before bed to relax before he turns in. Let me quickly recap how I managed my son's epilepsy. A modified ketogenic diet, plenty of water, less to nil carbs and sugars, limited TV viewing and computer usage, regular yoga and meditation, and early bedtimes. 
Fingers crossed, he's been off the medication for nine months. He's still on the schedule I've outlined today. I hope you found this video useful. Please send me your comments and questions. And for more videos from Live Bright and Healthy, please subscribe to this video channel. Thank you and bye.